Welcome back to the breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 140 watt USB-C and USB charger, three ports in total. That is a true 140 watt charger. Now I've seen other 140 or other high wattage chargers where when you actually read into it, it says the max through a USB-C for example is 100 watts, but when you combine all of it, it's 140. No, this actually offers a true 140 out through a single port which makes it great for many higher end laptops. Now we're gonna break down the pros and cons of this, let you know everything you need to know about this and a whole lot more. First, a few disclaimers. This was a review unit. They sent it to me for me to check out and tell you about it, but they don't get to see this review until it goes live on YouTube. They're watching it here just like you are. Second, pricing on this changes so rapidly, I hate to give you a price, have it be wrong. I'll put a link to this on Amazon down in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. You can find it on Amazon there for current pricing. If I happen to not answer any questions you have here, leave me a comment, let me know. I'll love to hear from you. Hopefully we can help you um, get your answer down below in the comments. And lastly, before we get into the full review, could you help me grow this channel? Could you help me support my family? All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping me support my family. So with that said, let's dive into this. Let's take a look at this charger, starting off with just kind of breaking down everything with it. Starting on the back here, there's three ports, two USB-Cs and a USB. Now they're, they're labeled here. This top one with a little computer icon, this is the one that's truly capable of delivering 140 at once. This one, if you only have one thing plugged into it, is just 100. And this one maxes out at 22.2 watt charging. I'll break that all down for you in a minute. It does come with a foldable prong here for travel. It is a kind of a large charger, but it's a 140 watt charger with three USB ports on it. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at everything that came in this box and, and I'll break down a few important things here you should know. Start with, it's 140 watts in total, which is cool that it can actually deliver 140 watts through a single port. The reality here though, is once you plug in multiple devices, it splits that 140 watts between others. For example, 140, for example. Now, the cool thing here is the slowest charge rate it will go down to is 22.5 watts, which for many devices is still enough to max charge them. iPhone 13, Pixel 6, and more are all 20 watt chargers. If you have everything plugged in, 65 watts is the max, 40 some, and then 22 if I remember correctly, it breaks down. There's a full breakdown chart that shows you if you have two plugs plugged in or one, how much wattage and more you get through it. But the nice thing here is most laptops are 100 watts or less. Uh, with many laptops actually only being 45 watts. Most phones are about 30 watts or less. I do know the Samsung S22 Ultra, for example, goes up to 45 watts. There's a few others on the market that are high, but like the iPhone 14, the Pixel 7 are 30 watts or less. The iPhone um, 13 is 20 watts, same with the Pixel 6 and so on. So this really will allow you for many laptops. I know the MacBook Pro 16 inches is higher, but most laptops are 100 watts or less to max charge your laptop and max charge your phone at the same time. Plus maybe the ability here to also charge a wireless earbuds, Nintendo Switch and more. This really is a all in one stop for your um, switches, your laptops, your tablets, wireless earbuds and phones. It's really nice to have one device that can do it all. A few disclaimers with this. It is important to know that you need a USB cable that's able to charge at that rate. I sometimes get people say, well, look, I bought that 140 watt charger. It doesn't actually give me 140 watts. Well, most USB-C cables are 60 watts and lower. I will pull a link to a 100 watt USB cable down in the show notes. Just be aware that that USB-C cable also has to be capable of transmitting the wattage it's advertised. For a long time, 60 watts was deemed the max that was needed for USB-C. Increasingly, as many laptops start using USB-C for charging and go 100 watts or more, you may want to make sure you have a USB cable capable of doing that. The second thing here is to remember, 140 watts is the total on this. I know I'm beating a hammer on this, but I get this all the time. It's not 140 watts per port, so if you plug in multiple devices, you're going to get less than 140 watts per plug. Overall, I'm very happy. In our testing, this works very well. It met all the expectations we have. Everything worked as it should. What they claim on their website was matched in our testing with it. And we had no issues with the device at all through it. So I'm gonna give this two thumbs up. It says what it's gonna do, it does it well, the price is fair, and the quality of the device met or exceeded all of our expectations. 
So there you go. If you have a question, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here and you want to help us grow this channel, hit that subscribe button or hit that thumbs up. Doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping me grow this channel, helping me support my family. So until next time, take care, be safe. We'll be back again real soon.